we will use a rectangle to represent a candy bar. First, let's partition the candy bar into two equal parts. Equal parts mean the same size. When we partition or divide the whole object into two parts, how many equal parts make a whole candy bar or rectangle? Two equal parts make one whole object. We name the parts halves. So one part is one half and two parts are two halves or a whole. We have partitioned the whole into two equal parts and each fractional part is called one half. Next, let's partition the candy bar or rectangle into four equal parts. How many equal parts make a whole? Four equal parts make one whole object. We name the parts force. So one part is one fourth and two parts are two fourths. What would we call three parts? Three fourths. How would we name four parts? Four fourths are one whole. Now let's partition our object into eight equal parts. How many equal parts make a whole object? Eight equal parts make one whole object. We name the parts eighths. So one part is one eighth and two parts are two eighths. How would we name three parts? Three eighths. How would we name five parts? Five eighths. How would we name eight parts? Eight eighths or one whole. When we partition a whole object into equal parts, the parts have special names based on the total number of parts in which the object has been partitioned. Notice that the more fractional parts used to make a whole, the smaller the part. When you partition into four parts, each part is smaller than when you partition into two parts. So one fourth is smaller than one half. And the fewer fractional parts, the larger each part. When you partition into four parts instead of eight parts, each part is larger. So one fourth is larger than one eighth. Equal parts means the same size. Let's look at some examples of partition shapes and see if they are partitioned equally. Which shape is not partitioned equally? Shape B is not partitioned equally because the two parts are not equal in size. We say that B is a non-example. A and C are examples of partitioning equally. Let's look at some more examples and non-examples. Which shapes are examples of partitioning into equal parts? Number one and number four are each partitioned into four equal parts. They are examples. Why are number two and number three non-examples? Both number two and number three are not partitioned into equal size parts.